Sunrise this morning, uh, still more than a half an hour away. Coming up at uh, 622 local time. We are gaining daylight very quickly right now, though. About two to three minutes per day. Sunset this evening, 731. Uh, I mean, 13 hours and eight minutes worth of daylight. Coming up here on a Thursday as we are expecting some more spring-like weather. This morning should have a pretty nice sunrise out there. A few added clouds in the sky in a few areas. Especially uh, the farther south you go, the more cloud cover you will run into this morning. Live views from Mount Vernon, Metropolis, Sparta, and Poplar Bluff. We're getting the uh, first glimpses of light there on the eastern horizon. Should be another very nice day. It is a little cool outside right now. Uh, we do have some temperatures once again this morning. Back into the 40s. In fact, Mount Vernon down to 40 degrees right now. So I uh, may need a jacket or a hoodie early this morning. But uh, much like what we've seen the last couple of days, once the sun comes up, things are going to start to warm up very, very quickly. There's some of those high, thin clouds we're tracking. They are making their way up from the south. Storm system along the Gulf Coast sending some of that moisture northward today though despite the added clouds likely to be the warmest day of the entire week we think uh, there's a pretty good chance we are going to see some 80s around here later on today and we'll stay dry through today and tomorrow but we're tracking that cold front that's the next one that's going to arrive comes in here on saturday evening i think most of the daylight hours on saturday will be dry so if you do have some plans to be outdoors saturday i wouldn't be canceling those outdoor events quite yet but uh, saturday evening line of storms moves through and eventually some cooler air builds in towards the second half of the weekend right now high pressure still too our east. The uh, added clouds that we're seeing this morning, that's due to this storm system right along the Gulf Coast. That's actually a tornado watch, by the way, into the panhandle of Florida back into parts of Georgia and Alabama this morning. The rain with the storm system will stay to our south as the uh, cold front that we're tracking that eventually arrives into our region Saturday night is making its way over the Rockies. That's going to keep that storm system along the Gulf Coast, though, likely to our east. This afternoon, upper 70s to low 80s for highs. Uh, again, rain staying just to our south. And uh, notice the added cloud cover around this afternoon. Otherwise, pretty quiet uh, breeze today will be out of the south in the east and the added clouds mean tomorrow morning not quite as cool starting off in the mid 50s on Friday and then Friday afternoon we climb right back into the mid to upper 70s. So dry today, dry tomorrow, but tracking that next chance for a little wet weather on Saturday. Here we go timing out that next cold front. It's making its way in Saturday evening and a line of showers and storms is likely going to develop right along this front. Notice uh, this is a little closer and even just after Sunday said, but there's a chance that some of these storms could be on the stronger side. Storm Prediction Center now putting much of our area, including uh, much of southern Illinois and southeast Missouri. They're in a level two on a scale of one to five for severe weather. That threat level drops down to a level one a little farther eastward. The main threat will be large hail and possibly a few strong damaging wind gusts. That's in here Saturday night. So again, Saturday during the day, don't cancel your plans, but a couple showers could linger into Sunday morning now, and it is quite quite the change. We go from the mid to upper 70s back to highs in the 50s on Sunday. It's going to be fairly breezy as well. It is short lived. Uh, we'll bounce back quickly upper 60s by Monday and right back in the mid 70s by the middle of next week. All right, thanks, Nick. Well, still ahead, we'll bring you a look at what we've got going on in our next half hour. Plus, we're going to have here Thursday morning sports.